In this video, we'll be taking a look at three MLB games happening on July 15, 2022. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets. As we provide these videos on a daily basis, I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three MLB games. After fully watching this video, one more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer anywhere from 1 betting pick a day up to 10 betting picks a day and much more. Now let's get started. Chicago White Sox vs. Minnesota Twins The Chicago White Sox will finish up the first half of the regular season as they are on the second game of this four-game set against the Minnesota Twins on Friday night. The White Sox are sending young righty Michael Kopech to the mound as he is coming off a no decision against the Detroit Tigers as he threw 5.1 innings and allowed two runs on four hits with three walks and four strikeouts. The Twins have southpaw Devin Smeltzer getting the ball as he is coming off a no decision against the Texas Rangers as he went just 3.1 one innings and gave up seven runs on eight hits with three walks and two strikeouts. The White Sox are 6-14 to in their last 20 road games versus a lefty starter and 2-5 to in their last seven Friday games. The over is 4-1 to in Chicago's last five in game two of a series. Meanwhile, the Twins are 7-3 to in their last 10 Friday games and 11-5 to in their last 16 in game two of a series. The over is 6-2-1 to to one in Minnesota's last nine Friday games. The White Sox poured on the runs in last night's series opener against the the Twins with 12 runs, which is even more impressive considering the Twins had Sonny Gray on the mound who has been dominant this season. Chicago will have a more favorable matchup in this game against Devin Smeltzer who has a 4-2 record and 3.92 ERA for Minnesota. His 4.67 XERA suggests major regression moving forward and that could come tonight against the White Sox who rank first in a VG. OPS WOBA and WRC plus against left-handed pitching. Opposing Smeltzer will be Michael Kopich, who has been inconsistent this season with a 2-6 record and 3.35 ERA. Although his numbers are better than what his record suggests, he is a hard-throwing righty with an elite arsenal of pitches, but his shaky command often leads him into troublesome situations. However, when he's on top of his game, he's a tough pitcher to face. He'll need to bring his best stuff against this deep twins offense that has been successful against right-handed pitching but he should be able to do so with the better bullpen behind him and a confident lineup providing him with run support. Kopich gave up six earned on eight hits and four walks in 4.2 innings to the Twins a couple of starts back. That said, Kopich bounced back well with 5.1 innings in his last start. Smeltzer is coming off a rough outing himself, but he should pitch better in this one. So the Chicago White Sox money line is our full game side pick. These offenses have been doing well as of late as the White Sox are scoring five runs per game in their previous eight games, while the Twins are averaging 4.33 runs per game in their last six games played. Neither bullpen would be considered solid this year as well as Chicago is 19th in the bigs with a 4.02 reliever ERA while Minnesota Minnesota is a little ahead of them at 3.7 bullpen ER this season. The over is 4-0-1 to to one in their previous five games against one another. Chicago is quickly closing the gap between them and Minnesota in the American League Central and is currently four games back of the Twins. Minnesota has lost five of their last seven and will be going up against Michael Kopich in this game. Kopich has allowed three runs or fewer in three of his last four starts for Chicago. For the Twins, Devin Smeltzer has allowed 10 runs in his last 9.1 innings pitched. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. Cincinnati Reds vs. St. Louis Cardinals National League Central foes will begin a three-game series on Friday night when the Cincinnati Reds visit the St. Louis Cardinals at Busch Stadium. Cincinnati is coming off an impressive series win over the New York Yankees capped by a 7-6 victory on Thursday as a big plus 164 underdog to improve to 34-55 on the season. St. Louis holds a wild card spot at 48-44 after dropping two of three to the Los Angeles Dodgers including a 4-0 defeat on Thursday as a plus 137 underdog. The Cardinals have a 4-2 head-to-head advantage so far in 2022 after losing the season series against the Reds for the first time in almost a decade last year. The Reds are 17-35 in their last 52 road games and 6-1 in their last 7 overall. The Cardinals are 2-5 in their last 7 games following a loss and 0-4 in their last 4 Friday games. The under is 5-2 in Reds' last 7 overall. The under is 13-3 in Cardinals' last 16 overall. The 
Reds are 1-4 to four in the last five meetings in St. Louis and 2-6 to six in the last eight meetings. Although these are divisional opponents, this is far from any sort of rivalry game. The Cardinals have their eyes set on the postseason, while the Reds are just trying to work their way out of last place in the National League Central. However, they are both coming off of series against arguably the two toughest opponents in baseball. The Reds were just up in New York to take on the Yankees, and the Cardinals just had the Dodgers in town. Not only is St. Louis the more complete team, they'll be remaining at home for this series. That's something the Cardinals should be looking to take advantage of before heading into the All-Star break. Depending on how the Brewers do over the weekend, the Cards could work their way into the division lead before the home run derby on Monday. They're opening this series with Andre Pallante on the mound, who just helped lead the way to a win over the Phillies in his last start. There's no denying he's not exactly an ace, but he's still someone the Reds wish they had. Cincinnati continues to have the worst team ER in the league, with an exceptionally bad bullpen. Starter Hunter Green hasn't been helping them out much, as he was one of the first pitchers with 10 losses on the year. He's faced the Cardinals twice this season, and lost both meetings. Green also began the month of July by allowing six runs to the Mets, which was the game that gave him his 10th loss. After a no decision in his most recent outing, Green looks set to be the next starter with 11 losses on the year. The Cincinnati Reds are on a heater this week, and they're becoming appealing in the underdog role but I'm not buying it just yet. Also, Hunter Green has been terrible this season, which includes allowing 10 hits and 7 runs in his last 11.1 innings. The St. Louis Cardinals have offensive issues lately, but they're the better team here overall and Palante has a 2.880R at home through 40.2 innings, so the St. Louis Cardinals' money line is our full game side pick. The Reds are averaging 4.28 runs per game and 3.45 runs per game on the road. They averaged 3.67 runs per game in their last three games against the Cardinals. With St. Louis giving up 3.61 runs per game at home, the Reds will be held under their average in this game. The Cardinals are averaging 4.54 runs per game and 4.65 runs per game at home. They averaged 4.33 runs per game in their last three games against the Reds. The Cardinals and Reds played under the total in five of their last seven meetings. Even though Cincinnati is giving up 5.21 runs per game on the road, the Cardinals won't score enough runs to push the score past the total. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. Pittsburgh Pirates vs. Colorado Rockies The Pittsburgh Pirates head to Coors Field to kick off a three-game set against the Colorado Rockies. The Pirates enter after splitting four games in Miami, which included dropping a pair of one-run decisions the last two days. The Rockies come in after taking three of four from division rival San Diego, including notching and encouraging three straight wins. Neither of these teams figures to be in contention during the second half, with both squads buried in the pecking order within their respective divisions. Jose Quintana gets the ball for the Pirates. Pirates here, while the Rockies counter with German Marquez. Neither of these squads has been a reliable source of stability for betters throughout the first half of the season. Both teams are well below .500 and mired in irrelevance heading into the stretch run. With that said, the Rockies sprung to life this week with three consecutive wins over a quality Padres team bashing just shy of eight runs per game in the process. They are a different offensive team within the friendly confines of Coors Field. Look for them to jump on the veteran Quintana behind the bat of C.J. Cron, who has been enjoying a massive first half. The Pirates are coming off back-to-back -back losses and now have to travel cross-country without a day off in between. They are just 18-29 on the road so far this season. Colorado is 4-1 in their last five and are heating up heading into the break. The Pirates are playing reasonably well, but this one will be difficult to win for them. So the Colorado Rockies' money line is our full game side pick. Jose Quintana is a likely trade candidate at the deadline in the coming weeks and I have to think it's going to continue to audition and try to put his best foot forward. But the issue here is that the Rockies are one of the best in the majors at hitting off of lefties, especially at home. On the other side, German Marcus has really struggled at home for the Rockies this season with an ERA well over 7. These are two of the worst pitching staffs in baseball. The Pirates rank 25th allowing roughly 5.2 runs per game while the Rockies have been even worse ranking 28th allowing 5.44 per contest. Now each staff must compete in the thin air of Coors Field. Quintana has been more reliable than Marquez this year, but expect him to struggle against a hot Rockies lineup that is averaging just a touch below eight runs per game over their current three-game winning streak. The over is 4-0 in Marquez's last four games against teams with losing records. Expect this trend to continue here as Pittsburgh's slumbering offense awakens in the Mile High City. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. 
That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyze. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.